Hey guys, Chad Taverny here with Vantage Point Outdoors, and uh, today is July 26th, and I'm up here checking on my food plots. I haven't been here since uh, the first week of June when I mowed last time. I wanted to check today to see if I needed to mow, if I should come up here this weekend and mow or not. And uh, a couple of things I wanted to point out is I am probably not going to mow anytime uh, too soon because, as you can see behind me here, um, I do have some weeds coming up here into the food plot but also um, it's been dry this summer it's been dry everywhere across the country including here in New York and uh, um, so the some of the clovers are very dry um, they're not dead but they are certainly dry need some rain so I'm not gonna mow pretty much because of two factors first of all being the weeds although they are they are growing there are some weeds in here they're certainly not taking the food plots over and uh, so I've got time there and B the main reason why I'm not why I'm gonna hold off yet to mow is because I don't want to knock what clovers are here too far back and if this you know uh, if this pattern of dry weather continues that could hurt my clover overall so I want to let what clovers here stay as it is because the more developed these plants are and the taller they are the more soil moisture you are going to conserve if it does rain so I'm going to wait until probably at this point, I'm going to wait until probably mid-August, even end of August before I do mow, um, which would probably be the last time going into hunting season. So, um, But today I wanted to, to just check things out, see if I have to mow. haven't been here in a while. And based off the fact that the weeds are not overtaking things, and we have been in, I won't say drought, but we've certainly been very dry here in upstate New York this summer, um, and that if that continues, I don't want to have these clovers too far knocked back. So I'm in no urgency here to mow. Just wanted to share this uh, this quick tip if you're deciding whether or not you should mow your food plots. Uh, the two things I look for most of the time in deciding when to mow is if weeds are out of control, mow regardless. Or uh, um, as, long as, uh, as long as the clovers are still healthy. There's no need to mow. So the main reason why I look to mow is if uh, pretty much the main reason that would make me feel like I have to mow regardless of, you know, drought or anything would be weeds. Um, weeds are the number one detriment to your perennial food plots, especially clover. And uh, the weeds are here. They're not out of control. So I'm going to wait and, uh, and mow later on. I did just pull a uh, camera a bunch of camera I got four cameras up here just pulled those cards so hopefully we'll see what's been coming in here the last month or so but I just wanted to share that quick tip with you guys um, I hope you're having a good summer and thanks again for tuning in to Vantage Point Outdoors